Today I got a real quick video for you guys. I'm going to show you four different workouts that you can use on your Concept 2 rower with the Paddle Sport Training Systems paddle adapter attached to it to make sure that you are training the major metabolic systems so that when you do start to go out into the water in about a month or so that you are pretty well prepared for the upcoming season. All right guys, I'm gonna be showing you how to set up these four separate workouts. So I have my rower already set up here. And the first workout we're gonna do is going to be geared towards building our aerobic base. So it's gonna be a slow, steady effort. For this, I usually warm up by just pressing the just row and that's gonna open up. And then I do about five minutes of a warm up. Then I usually get back out of it. And then this is where we're going to start to get into more of the detailed workouts. This one is an easy setup where you're gonna do select workout. And then a lot of times I will do the standard list and I'll either do the 5,000 meters or the 10,000 meters. So usually if I do the 5,000 meters, I might do that twice. And sometimes I'll do the, just the 10,000 meters. So for me, the 10,000 meters is going to take roughly about anywhere from 50 to 60 minutes. And then uh, the uh, 5,000 meters is going to be in that, you know, half that uh, time range. So the goal with these workouts is to keep your heart rate below your, you know, keep it in your aerobic capacity and not above your anaerobic threshold. And this is just to help, uh, help get our aerobic system primed and ready for a lot of the volume that we're going to be adding once we get onto the water. The second workout we're going to do is going to start to work on our anaerobic threshold, which is going to be one of the one of the key factors to determine how fast we can actually paddle at. So for this, this is going to be a little bit more different. We're going to actually create a new workout for this. So you're going to press this button right here, and then we're going to do intervals. So you can do either time or distance for this. A lot of times I like to do distance because we race in distances. So for this workout, I would move this over to here, press this up, and either 1500 or a thousand meters or is the length thousand meters is roughly a five minute effort so this is going to be faster than we did with the uh, 5,000 meter or 10,000 meter workouts the whole point is we want to be working at our anaer anaerobic threshold we don't want to work above it we want to be pushing that so I would do that and then I'm going to set up a rest time normally I'm going to do anywhere from two to three minutes if I'm going to be on the higher side of the of my anaerobic threshold, really making sure I'm keeping it there as long as almost for the entire duration, I'm going to keep it probably closer to the three minutes. And if I'm doing it a little bit just under the aerobic threshold, I'll keep it closer to two minutes. Okay. So, and if I'm doing 1500 meters, I probably would bump it up in the 230 to, to three um, range. And so then from there, you're just going to hit this check mark right here and it's going to start your workout. It's going to show you your interval right there. So that way when you uh, are done with one interval and you know how many intervals you want to do and I usually set up if I'm going to do like a four by a thousand or three by fifteen hundred something like that at this at this stage of the game is pretty good and I'll work that up to you know five or six you know before I'm uh, really hitting the water so uh, so that is a great workout that's going to work on our anaerobic threshold which is going to be one of the main factors on how fast we can actually go because this is going to be a basically what you can do an effort wise of what you could do all out for an hour and now the next workout is still gonna work on that system but it's gonna be a little bit more geared it's a harder workout so that was probably the, that's probably the second hardest workout this is gonna be the hardest workout out of all of these and so we're going to go select workout here and this is gonna be on the standard list and it's this one down here it's 500 meters one minute rest okay so to do you're just going to click that and it's going to open right up. Now this, I'm going to do more intervals than I did of the thousand, but I'm going to try to, the, the kicker here is that one minute rest. The first couple sets, it's going to, you're going to feel fine. But if you're really working at your anaerobic threshold, once you get into, you know, the fourth, fifth and beyond sets, that's really where the work's going to be getting done. And it's going to get harder and harder to keep that pace. Now this is, this is one where you actually have to show a big amount amount of restraint in your first sets because the whole goal is to maintain you're going to pick a pace you want to 
maintain that pace for the duration of the workout. So if you did like a 10 by 500 workout, that's going to be pretty tough um, to do and, and keep it, you know, right at that anaerobic threshold. Over time, you're going to notice that you're going to be able to push that pace down. But when you have a pace for a workout, keep it that same pace and just try to hit it every set. The last one we're going to do is we're, it's another interval workout. This is going to be the hardest mentally for us to do as endurance athletes because this is not really an endurance based workout. This is going to be more of a pure strength workout. So for this, we're going to go select workout. We're going to create a new workout. Again, we're going to do intervals. And this time, instead of a longer distance, we're going to do a very, very short distance. So anywhere in the 100 to 200 meter range. And then we're going to, the big difference with this is our rest times are going to be anywhere from 2.30 to 3.30. Okay? The whole point of this is you want to be rested and recovered in between each set so you don't want to complete the set and then go into the next set feeling tired so if you need more you're going to need more rest when you do these when you first start doing these and then you can slowly bump that rest time down but you probably never want to go you never really should you're not working hard enough if you can do them with only two minutes rest. These are where you're gonna to try to push out maximum wattage. And actually I have one of these in my time, in my, and this is another cool thing with this uh, setup, that you can go to your memory, you can go to your date. And today I did 10 by 150. And then this is gonna show you your pacing. So the pacing that I had, and then my average watts, and my strokes per minute, and my heart rate data is a little bit jacked up because my heart rate monitor wasn't being uh, was being a little bit finicky today. But it's also going to show you your time splits. Now you're going to see all these are very close together, and that's what I was trying to do. I'm trying to, you know, max out as much as I can on these, but also repeat them. So um, this is what's going to help us build that top end power. This is going to give you your big pops you know, your big, you know, nice good start. And the higher this is, the higher you can build everything else. Um, so this is something that I work on. All, I'm starting to work on more in the off season because it's a little bit easier to actually do it on the um, paddle machine here comparatively to the, um, comparatively to outside. Well, those are four Great workouts for you to prepare for the upcoming season. Let me know what you think about these workouts and what other workouts you guys like to do on your Concept 2 with a paddle adapter attached to it. As always, like, subscribe. Until next time, guys, paddle hard.